morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, the 21st of March, and I'm home, obviously. Losing my voice still from the steroids, and I want to bring everybody up to date. I was released, of course, discharged on Monday. Monday evening, I ran into another issue. I've been resting the best that I very well can, and um, I was in the shower, just seated on the shower stall, and another another um, focal seizure started. John was able to whisk me out and I laid right down and that pretty much, um, I don't know what stopped it, but it did stop. And, um, I'm still, um, doing my very, very best. Um, we're in the middle of the snow, um, up here in Peaburg, Phillipsburg, New Jersey. Uh, we're downtown, so we have a mountain across the river in Pennsylvania, and, and we have a mountain about two blocks behind us, so we have a little bit of extra protection. We have um, just over an inch of snow, but they said it's going to increase today, so I'm staying put upstairs, um, making some phone calls uh, for a home health aid today because um, this really has me concerned. I'm going to try, I can do light housework, um, but it really concerns me that even when I try to um, wash myself, my left arm just starts seizing and I can't have a seizure, I can't fall, I can't, I can't take that chance. Um, my sugar is still a little out of control. Um, my um, prescription carrier will not pay for the Lantus, even though the Lantus and the Nova Log 7030 pen is what worked in the hospital. And the hospital even noted that on my prescriptions and the insurance won't pick it up. So starting tomorrow also, my steroids start to be decreased. So of course, that's going to assist my uh, sugar levels in coming down. I did have a very moderate breakfast today, trying to, not trying to, I am um, doing what I'm supposed to be doing um, as far as my carbs go and, um, and to help uh, keep my sugars down. Um, the boys are so happy mommy's home. Uh, Rocky sleeps with me um, at night again and it's nice and close. Um, that my bed now is nice and close to the bathroom. Um, John took the uh, kitchen table out and my bed, um, the new bed that he purchased for me is um, in the kitchen. It's very comfortable back there. So, uh, um, you know, making calls to Medicare and taking care of business and um, I uh, talked to my neurologist yesterday also based on what happened the evening before with the seizure in the um, the, um, the tub. So, um, my, and she, my neurologist, my new neurologist now has increased my seizure meds. So I hope, my biggest fear honestly is um, I'm going to try to do the dishes. Um, John said, don't worry about it. My biggest fear because um, the right side was where the mass, most of the mass was, or I'm, I'm saying it that way because I want to bring everybody even up to date about what happened during the surgery. Um, a little over 95% of the tumor was removed. Um, it was so close to the sinus vein. There's a big longer name for it. It was so close to the vein, um, the surgeon, Dr. Molding, could not um, extract 100% of it. My pathology report will be um, next week on it. He does feel, um, and, and he's a specialist, I mean, he's the top of the line as far as I'm concerned. He said it did look as though it, it is benign for the most part. My next MRI will be in three months, and at that point, they will determine if it's um, possibly going to start growing again. And he did tell me, um, he was he's up front, he's an up front guy, uh, surgeon, and he did tell me that if it does start to uh, regenerate, 
that they might have to go in with radiation. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm walking so much better. I did get very tired yesterday afternoon. We did go, I did go to um, Walgreens to pick up prescriptions. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then we did go to Walmart to pick up some uh, foodies um, for today with the storm. I just wanted to make sure. So we're cooking at home. I'm not going downstairs whatsoever today. There's no need for me to go anywhere. Um, I love everybody. I just want everybody to know that I'm doing the best that I can. I am taking care of myself and John's taking care of me. The boys. Here's the boys. See my boys? Here's the boys. Ta-da! They're right there. See? They're all over me like white on rice. I love my boys. They're such good boys. And um, just the, the um, sutures are dissolvable. And, um, and they're healing nicely. Um, I did um, for a couple days not even have to take any Tylenol. Uh, yesterday, I did feel the pressure um, increase. So I did take two Tylenol. That's it, guys. Tylenol. Uh, the sutures are self-dissolving. There's no redness. There is no pain. Uh, of course, they did it with laser. But um, everything is going well. And um, I miss being in the saddle, for crying out loud. I share what I can share uh, from the phone to Facebook. I'm pretty much my presence on Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and our website is pretty much nil at this point because I don't have access to it. I don't have a computer upstairs. All I have is the tablet, which at this point has no power. And you know what? At this point in time in my life, that's okay. But I do have the phone, as you can see, because <laughs> I miss everybody. I want everybody to know that um, I am doing my best. And um, I do miss everybody. I do thank everybody for your additional prayers and well wishes. I know I'm not the only one on this planet that has issues and um, or, you know, have major things going on in, in life. And I just want everybody to know that I miss work. I miss, I do. I miss, uh, I miss everything. I, I miss going downstairs. I miss my employees. I miss my volunteers. And, um, and I'll be back soon enough. As soon as the doctor gives me approval. All right, guys, I love y'all and just help another person. Even if you're just smiling at them, Give them the encouragement. Thank you and God bless.